Yeah, it means everything to me, you know, to play from a country. Obviously, growing up, watching Northern Ireland, you know, as a boy, going to Windsor Park. Obviously, then now the new national stadium and seeing now with the manager there, the young players getting through, you know, seeing that chance to go there and play, it's you know, getting closer and you know, it means everything every time you come away with your country. Can you remember the day whenever the club and I opportunity came about and how it felt for you? Yeah, well, Going in from our like, local clubs then into the training, you know, training with the best players in the country and being together in that sort of elite, elite environment, you know, it's that sort of feeling like pride, but then knowing you know you need to work hard because you're playing with better players now, and give you that sort of insight into the more full time training, what it's like, the demands of it to set you up for going across the water. You obviously uh, got an international debut. You spoke about it straight after. On reflection, has it sunk? Like, has it sunk in that you've you've reached that milestone? And what is and how does that feel? Yeah, obviously straight after it was, you know, in the heat of the moment, pride, all those different feelings, and you know, looking back now, it's probably just a year gone by, and you know, I think it has sunk in and how big a moment it was and what it meant to me and my family and people back home. So it's something I've always dreamed of doing and to do it was brilliant. It's you know different when you're away with your country, you know, through all the age groups got up, I've just had that feeling, you know, you're fighting for something, you know, you're together as a team, you know, fighting for your country. That's the way the feeling I get and the way I look at it every game, every camp that I'm away, no matter what age group it is. One thing I've noticed with you on set is that you take a fair amount of slag on the boy. Your, your tone and your accent, mm -hmm. you know, you're very proud to be from the North Coast and do you enjoy the stick? Do you understand where it comes from? You seem to take it in your stride. Yeah, no, I love it all the lads. Give me a bit of stick, you know, the Belfast lads. I get on well with them and give it back to them when I need to as well. But, you know, I love where I'm from, being from Lima Valley and that'll never change. Uh, do you keep an eye out on the Irish League and how it's going? Yeah, I would follow it, you know, even since it moved away and been further away from it, I would still, you know, look at the results and follow it and still obviously have friends and people that I know back home who are involved in the league. Uh, would your allegiances lie at Lima Valley or at Corian? Yeah, a bit of both, you know, obviously I started at Lima Valley when I was young, moved to Corian when I was, you know, maybe 9, 10, so I was there a long time, and but now Lima Valley United have you know, starting to come on again and, you know, plans in place, so, you know, following them a bit now and hopefully they can kick on and get back to sort of where they were. Yeah, I know their manager quite well, Big Andy, he's, you know, he's done a great job there next season, or last season, sorry, and hopefully he'll be there next season and get the club promoted and do the town proud. <laughs> All coaches from around, obviously up in the North Coast area, you know, have still in touch with me and contact me and getting their messages you know, means a lot and the fact that they are still showing an interest and stuff you know it's good for me to hear and you know gives me a bit of motivation as well to you know keep going and keep making people proud.